Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We had a few comments on the last translucent umbrella video we did that Peter didn't like explain it totally in depth. So he's just gonna have a play with the translucent umbrella and show you that a bit more in depth. <laughs> so I've got a look in mind I wanna do today and I'm gonna to use a translucent because I haven't, I wanna just see how much I can do with a translucent and how I can use it to get some of the looks I really like. And it's more just, it's when I'm traveling, I want to take less and less gear. And if I can get away with a translucent instead of a, a soft box and things like that, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to shoot a three quarter type of shot with Vec. And I want to sort of have a cross light, which may be a little bit of Rembrandt. I want the background to go a little bit darker. I want Beck to pop with a bit of contrast, but still being pretty. I know it's a lot to ask. Um, I'm gonna start off using it like an umbrella and just see what happens. And I don't think I've ever used a translucent as an umbrella like this. I've used it the other way, but not this way. This is a deep dish medium. So I'm just gonna bring it out to use the whole of the dish, which means I'm trying to line it up with the front there. I'm gonna think it's gonna need a bit of power. And this is just a matter of me building. I've got a picture in my head what I want. And that's cheating because you don't know. I can just say, oh yeah, that's what I wanted, but no, I won't. I'm gonna keep working until I get the picture I want. I think that's gonna be my crop there. Oh, everything worked. All right, so she's very dark, but it's giving me somewhere to start. All right, I'm F8 at 160th of a second at 100 ISO. Now I could jump to 400 ISO if I wanted to, just grab some more light, but I don't know if I want much of the ambient light in on this. But I've got a bit of room, so let's just see what happens if I come up to nine. Oh, it's getting closer. All right, so let's just start building from there. Let's just see what the difference is. So number one, let's... I know that's moved it closer now, but I might just pull this back a bit and aim it across the front of back and just see what my fallout's like on that. Oh, that's nicer already. I might just use it like it's supposed to be used. Funny about that. So I wanna try and not have it so harsh on Beck's face. The background's nearly, I think, as I want to see it. So I'm bringing the light forward and in. So forward gets it to wrap around her better. And in is so I can keep the same power. I think this is gonna work nicely. All right, the no shadow just for me is a little bit too strong. So by me coming further forward, and I'm gonna turn it in a little bit towards back to add the power that I've just taken off it for being further forward. That also brought, you'll notice that that no shadow is now cleaned up a little bit. The power stayed the same. So by bringing the light this way and then turning the light in, it sort of kept the same power. It's gonna be a nice background. I think this is gonna work. So I'm Continually coming forward a little bit and turning it back a little bit. So forwards sp spreading the light a little bit more even across the, oh, it's nice. It's cool, I quite like that. All right. the one thing is I'm just finding is I'm, I don't mind the no shadow, I'm just finding it's a bit too dark and I just want to change my height and my light up a little bit. Um, the reason I'm going up a little bit is I'd rather a small shadow under her chin. That's better. I like this. This is a shadow we work with a lot. All right, let's grab a V-flat. So what I'm going to do is grab some of this light and send it back just as a shadow fill. So I can vary this So it's gonna grab a fair bit of that power. And this front board's gonna to vary to how much it's gonna end up on the background. 
And if I bring this in like here, it's going to more bring it onto Beck only, but I'm going to open it up a little bit just to see what it goes on the background. Definitely fix that nose shadow. See how dark this and all of this area is here. You'll see it just softened that off really nicely. Right, we can most likely take this another step. So let's send more across Beck's face. Nice. I'm going to try one more little, so I'm just going to grab one more V-flat. So because this translucent's lighting up like 108, it's lighting up all of this umbrella. Once it's hitting it, grab some of the light coming this way, bounce that direct back into Beck, I'm hoping. It's subtle, but it's there. Now it's just a matter of tuning this. Just going to turn this a little bit off back, which might turn the power down a little bit. Again, I, it's hard for me to explain. Whenever I'm doing this stuff, it's just I look at the picture and my eye goes, that's looking too harsh, that's looking too... Yeah, that definitely fixed it. I just found, found around this cheek was too harsh for my liking. And by bouncing it in across, oh, don't want to be quite as up on you. Cool. So whenever I'm working more like a set picture, I'll, that's why I like having the tripod because I can set up my exact picture. All right, so I've got my lighting. I think I'm within, yep. It's just going over it round about a third of a stop, so it's my safety area. And I quickly, uh, black and white. Cool. I'm just going to take a couple of shots and now try and get my frame so I've got a better idea of what my pitch is going to look like. So cool. Cool. That's better. Awesome. That's cool. Nice. It's just a picture I was working on. I didn't like Beck's expression. So no matter what I did, the picture didn't get any better. But now that I've got a decent expression offer, now, I think you nailed it, girl. I think that's the end. Yeah, so I've got my halo without any clarity at all. So my clarity's turned off. I've got this, my down curve getting me that chromier skin. And if you, well, chromey means like it on chrome. If I'm talking about chrome, you'll see it goes from light to gray very quickly. Right, so I'm trying to get that effect on skin. And the way I get that effect on skin, if I put a lot of contrast up in the, the whites, you'll see we go from white to gray quickly. Is that more chromey type of skin? I think you nailed this, girl. Cool. Right, now one out. You already nailed one, so you, <laughs> you can just go crap for now one, doesn't matter. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really, really liking this. Cool, that's really cool. That's really cool. She's already nailed a great shot, so now she has to do better because she's already absolutely nailed one. Cool, cool. That's really cool, that's really cool. Cool. Normally when Beck and I are shooting, we've normally got one of her emo punky pretty boys singing in the background. Cool, that's really cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah, just give me a vary of different moods and stances. And cool, that's really cool. That's cool. That's really cool. I always try something different. Let's try it. Because you already nailed the shot, so I can't wreck it. Cool, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. So you're just letting your body language tell you the feel? Yeah. Cool. Normally you have a feel, don't you? Oh, that's right, it's a Monday. It's the start of a week, so start of the weeks is a little bit why I'm stopping and starting all the time now, not just flowing, is because 
Beck and I do shoot a lot, so I don't need to take many pictures, but I was just seeing what effect I was having on her face with these questions. Cool. You were asking me questions. I know, I just wanted to see what it was doing. Cool, that's really cool. Awesome, awesome. And she told me off the other day for not talking, asked if I was all right because I wasn't saying cool, 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 cool. Just, yeah, a couple strong, powerful to on toes that just planted and, yeah, and just not, that laser eyes straight in. Cool. Nice. That's better. That's cool. That's cool. Cool, 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 That's cool. That's really cool. Keep it in the eyes. So well, we hope that you guys enjoy that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will throw up uh, the other video we did with the translucent umbrella.